you're looking at me. Oh, you're looking at the title. And you say it's Man of Steel. Well, anyway, got to do close just for this review. Yeah, I'm a Superman fan. Deal with it. And I, by the way, the, this shirt, this logo was a little smaller than my previous one, but I, at least I got a bigger Superman logo, which will be my official shirt for Gamer Bees. You figure out why. Now let's get to Man of Steel. Is uh, what I call the most controversial film of all time, because most people liked it and most people hated it. And this will include spoilers, so spoiler alert. Duh. As you go, oh, no. As I will know, most people actually say that the ending or the story was too dark or Superman is not joyful. And all that. <coughs> Strange junkies. <coughs> so, sorry. But what did I think of Man of Steel? Is Superman, Man of Steel, able to be the redeemer for me? I have to sadly report I loved it. I know what you say. Why the hell you love it? Or for those who liked it, yes. I just don't like. Don't get why everyone hates it. I actually, uh, as you all, uh, I need to let you know. I actually, uh, I'm both Marvel and DC fan, so I'm interested in what to do in both. I prefer DC storytelling, which is darker. But I didn't mind the I didn't mind the darkness for this film. The ending. Was Superman snaps Zod's, Zod's head, like snap his neck? I mean, I didn't let it bother me. The first time I see it, I went, "Man, eh, all right," because if those guy, those idiots, keep saying that, only way to destroy their argument is mention Superman two. That fact that kills Zod in that one, and no one gives a shit about it. But why do they give a shit about this one? Superman frequently cracks his wrist and shoved him, and he fell and died. No one gives a shit about that. The Superman 2 death. But in this one, everyone goes apeshit. That's the best case. I, I don't trust him. The only time I don't trust reviewers is when they hated it. I agree with Jeremy Johns. I, but I do disagree with Screen Junkies. <sighs> right, well, that's enough for... Money revenue for um, for all the YouTube references. <laughs> if you get what I mean. What did I like about the film? The action is one of the best action sequences of all time. I but not Metropolis, uh, not the Metropolis battle, but the Smallville one. I thought that was incredible. I just loved explosions, and when I was a kid. You imagine I had to get explosions and visuals in my face. That fulfilled that bit of child in me. That wants to see destroy buildings, buildings smash to the ground. And destroy part of the buildings, which I always feel shameful and... Yeah. But as you can tell, I actually got my... Well, I got my... Sort of my Avengers video, which I actually filmed. Directly. The film, I get back to the film itself. I love Henry Cavill as Superman. He's he's the perfect embodiment. He's supposed to be super tough. He's supposed to be look like a badass. And a force to not be reckoned with. Unless he got Batman in his next movie. <sighs> but I'm not a DC fanboy for the Marvel ones. For those who hated it, I'm not a DC fanboy. I'm just a film lover, 
and Superman was my childhood. Not because I wa didn't watch his movies, but I actually watched the cartoons. Which is back to the review. Russell Crowe did fine. Kevin Costner and I actually see him as a good power. All the things I mentioned, I can see why they did mention that poor Batman v Superman. I believe that was their plan. Have what? The, after Man of Steel, when they mentioned they had to use what Man of Steel mentioned and put it in this movie. How would the world react to Superman? How would the world think of Superman? How afraid will Superman bring? Everyone will be mixed. Until he does one good thing, which is save the world from dark side, I imagine. Anything I don't like, I get back to the good, but I need to get to the bad. Why don't I think of uh, what thing I don't like about this film? Well, the Metropolis fight, uh, uh, the fight of the Metropolis. I felt like this lots of destruction. But uh, they were already past my level for, when, for my child uh, once I ever just building destroyed. That's really the truth there. Su uh, Superman, I felt, uh, I felt like he destroyed more buildings than Zod does. <laughs> just throw those jokes out of the way. But back to the good. Zod is a good villain. I actually believe his performance. Looking at you, Jacob. I will find him! When he said that, I believe he's determined. He's a single-minded asshole that's gonna, gonna get what he wants by destroying Earth. That's, a, that's his plan. I be totally believed it. And I watched, I watched it multiple times, but I did get worse about it every time I watched it. But the first time, I felt like it's a Superman movie. Not in their turns, I guess I would definitely destroy it by watching it again, and and I had to watch two and a half hours worth of boredness. And everyone complains about Lois Lane, about uh, uh, about her, but I don't give a shit about those. I just see them as stupid points because she's definitely a better Lois Lane because. She's one of the famous damsels in distress. You have to have her do more. Instead of be, oh Superman, save me! Oh Superman, save me! You kind of see the point I'm making here. I'm actually interested to see what Batman v Superman trailer uh, is trying to bring. I watched it multiple times before the review of the trailer. But to this film alone, I say it's a good start for the DCCU. Because DC has a good style. I really enjoy their style. And, and I got... I got them on my wall. Why I have them? I would have just got Marvel. and got Marvel, 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 Marvel. But I like to keep it even. D Marvel and DC. And for those idiots, nobody cares. I know I stick to roofing then, but what's my rating for this film? And I will give it a 4 out of 5. It's an excellent film, a must see. And ignore all the negatives, like I have. And I didn't need to about the negatives because I try to watch the films spoil free. But anyway, guys, what did you think of the film? Hate it? Love it? Put it in the comments below. I know I'm asking for comments, but I. Really enjoy seeing, reading your comments. And every time I read it, I felt like we're home and we're part of the community. That is Anger Rant's community that slowly transformed into the review channel. But don't worry, when something shit happens, I'll be there. And I'll see you guys in the next Anger Rant's video.